Hey everybody, it's Eric, 80s Horror Man here, and welcome to day six for my 31 Days of Horror. Today, I'll be doing a movie that was done in 2023, and this is from a local indie horror movie company that I never thought that I would actually be into, but uh, when I watched uh, some of these movies from that local indie horror movie company for the first time, I actually enjoyed it. The movie company is called Mad Angel Films, and they shoot movies locally right here in this state of New York, because they're from the Utica area. And when you get done watching the movies, you can fast forward through the end credits to see the, where exactly they shot the, these movies at the locations that they were at. So, the movie I'm talking about uh, that uh, I end up watching for the very first time, because this was the first movie I actually ended up watching from Mad Angel Films, and you can watch this for free on Tubi, and that's X Grinder 666. So, basically, the synopsis is that uh, there's this killer by the name of Freddie Palmer. He's dead again, but then he gets uh, brought back to life uh, by an in incantation and starts his uh, bloody rampage again. And then uh, there's a group of uh, of uh, of her friends who said to go to the beach and just hang out but then one of the girls is not happy because she sees her ex-boyfriend is there and she's still pissed off at him from him cheating on her with uh, another girl <laughs> so or she's really pissed off about that and she just doesn't want nothing to do with him and apparently her ex doesn't want nothing to do with her either because he's happy with what he's got right now in his life. If it, but uh, but uh, his character always likes to, likes to be figured that he would like to be called Dark Lord because that's what he calls himself and that's what he would like to be called the Dark Lord. But uh, overall, I thought this movie was actually very, very fun. So, well, I thought the the characters in this movie did a pretty good job in this movie, and I thought uh, the kills was actually pretty good too. Good blood, good gore, and there was one death scene that I thought was actually very interesting. Is when after when Freddie Palmer discovers the two girls making out close to the mausoleum, almost next to the cemetery area in the woods, there's a there's a throws one girl aside and the next girl punches a hole through that other girl's stomach and pulls out her intestines and starts uh, wrapping it around her the the other girl's uh, neck strangling her after he ended up uh, punching a hole through her stomach and ripping the intestines out so I thought that was a nice touch but uh, Overall, I really did enjoy this movie, but I just never knew that there was other Axe Grinder movies. I thought this was just the only one, but turns out there's other Axe Grinder movies. There's like five other ones that I never knew that existed, so I'll have to check them out if I can find them. But uh, Axe Grinder 666 from Mad Angel Films, definitely recommend checking it out. And again, it is from a local indie horror movie company that shoots movies locally right here in this state of New York because they're from the Utica area. So if you want to watch some of these movies for free on Tubi, you could watch this. Another one of theirs you could watch for free on Tubi is uh, Killing Time, aka Three Days in the Woods 2, and uh, Big Brood. So... Those are the movies that you can watch for free on Tubi from Mad Angel Films. So, again, Axe Grinder 666. Definitely enjoyed it, and I thought it was just a, a good time. So, I'm hoping that there'll be some more movies from Mad Angel Films that will be out soon, which there will be coming out soon that they're working on. It's called Blood Red Beach, so can't wait to check that out. So, again, and definitely check out X Grinder 666 if you do have Tubi. Alright guys, that's it for day 6 for my 31 Days of Horror. What did you guys think? Have you seen this movie before? Have you seen any local indie horror 
movies at all that shot right here in the state of New York? If so, please let me know in the comments down below. I'd like to hear your thoughts. Also, like and subscribe to the channel. And stay tuned for some more videos and for some more 31 Days of Horror. Later.